welcome to Views of a Flick. I'm Will I Am Defoe, aka Big Willie Style. Here with Ron Jerobi. You already know me. Missing our guy said he'll be back next time. Well, no, probably not not the next review, because the next review we're gonna do like right after this. Yeah. But the next Moon Night review, yeah, said he's gonna be right back. He was the one that, one that was excited to do this episode. Yeah, but. he the one that hit us up about doing it. But I, I guess y'all know what we're here for, Moon Knight Episode 1, Disney Plus, we back on. Uh, what you think of it, Ryan, Episode 1? I like the episode. Uh, for me not to have no knowledge of this character, I like the, uh, how they introduced it, how he was introduced, kind of. They kinda, You know what? We really didn't get... Well, I guess we're going to find out during the season, mm-hmm. like how, because at first I didn't know that, are we spoiling this, right? Yeah, you can spoil it. So the, he like a vessel mm-hmm. for this Egyptian god. Oh, you didn't know none of that? No. Nah. Oh, okay, yeah. And this, to me, him, the way he re- re- inter- interact with his, well, he interact with, with the god, it kind of reminded me of Venom almost. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But uh so that's what made me like it. Just a better version, you know. But uh cuz been mm-hmm. terrible. But uh I like the first Venom all right. Yeah, the first Venom I, I was talking about. The, I ain't seen the first one still. I only saw oh, the, I only saw let there be carnage. Uh <laughs> I can't find it nowhere. You can't even you can't even say that it's terrible cuz you ain't seen the first one. Like you can straight watch both of the movies without seeing the other one, and it won't matter. Really. Well, the second version was terrible. The second movie was trash to me. Yeah, I liked Woody Harrelson, but it, but anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. The I kind of I kind of got that the way him and what's his name uh, Ed not Brock Hardy what's his name uh who Eddie Brock not Eddie Brock what's the nigga name that had that play him Tom Hardy. That right? played Venom yeah or him yeah Tom Hardy. So it reminded me I should have just said Eddie Brock, but it reminded me of how. Eddie Brock and Venom reacted with his what's name? Yeah. Uh, which I don't know. If it, I don't know if I like that. Which I don't think he was talking to, to the guy or the um, the Conchu. I don't think he was talking to Conchu. That voice that we kept hearing. Oh, he was deep ass voice. I think that was um Mark. That was Mark Spector. That was his other. That was his other identity. Oh, you know what? I ain't thinking about that because at the end, that's when we realized it was. Like that, yeah, yeah. That was, that's the, what we was talking. It still remind me of like Moon. Yeah. I mean, it still remind me of like, but he's, yeah. But I didn't because it yeah, was another damn. voice. It was another voice that sounded a little bit different. Yeah, that was talking too. You right? That kept saying, "Oh, the 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 dumb ones in control now." <laughs> he kept saying shit like that. Oh damn! So this nigga do got two personalities. He might have more than three. More than two. I think it's the, the the one that we see, the one that work at the museum. Mm-hmm. Um, what's it? I keep wanting to say Spencer, but the other one that, the one that was fighting, that wanted to fight at the end when he was in the bathroom, right? That was Mark Spencer or the Spectre. one that was in the mirror. Yeah, that okay. was Mark Spector. That was the fighter assassin, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, uh, militia. He he know oh, all that so shit. Nigga, oh, okay. And then the one that we got most of the episode, what was his name? Steven? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, that's one. And then the other conscience. Which I can't remember what his name is, but he more of like an investigator type. Okay. So, and I think that's the one that kept saying, "Oh, the stupid ones back in control now," <laughs> and all that's that shit. Crazy. So this, yeah. this, this actually that make it better to me if it's more than one personality. Because mm-hmm. I was I was thinking it was just him and then the other dude was Moon Knight. Okay, nah. so that's dope. But yeah. uh, I liked it a lot though. Uh, I was, I was, I was. First, I was thinking they wasn't gonna show Moon Knight this episode. Was it gonna keep doing? I, I really didn't like that, that flash shit. I was see. I was gonna wait because I, I want to say. But let me say this first. Go ahead. I liked the episode. I, I liked really yeah. liked the episode. But like you said, all that flash shit. I liked it in the beginning, but then they start doing that shit too much. Yeah, man. It started to feel like they didn't want to pay for the action scenes. They just wanted to do that. Like, all right, hey, fuck doing all this shit with the action, man. Let's just do this snap shit. And, like, because I thought it was cool the first couple of times it happened. Or was the flash shit? But then it was just. Was that him switching through? 
personalities. Yeah, it was. I mean, it was him switching to personalities, but did he go back to the one we, the regular? Yeah, every, okay, time, okay. every time he woke up, we only saw, now, okay. it would be fire if they did every episode with a different personality. Yeah, now that would be fire. <laughs> that would be fire. That'd be hard. <laughs> if we only if we only saw the different personalities visions, that would be hard. That but I, be I don't hard. think they're doing that though. They probably not. They yeah, no, nah, that's too much for them to be doing. Probably. But outside outside of the the and and I don't think we got enough moon night this episode. No, we didn't. It was, and then a little bit of Moonlight that we did get, we didn't get to see none of the brutalness, we none didn't. of the fighting, <laughs> no nothing. I'm like, what? It the- was like <laughs> this shit was crazy. It was like, dude, it was like, dude, just came like he was like the boogeyman or something. When he came out the closet. You could, yeah. they didn't want to show it to you because it was too scary or something. Exactly. Then when they showed it, he just like the mummy from uh from fucking. The mummy, yeah. <laughs> he just, in which I, like I never it. knew he was just a mummy. I thought he was yeah. fucking. Yeah, it's like I thought. Well, he, he like not a, just the mummy. I mean, he, he not just the mummy, but he wrapped nigga, up in mummy shit. Yeah, he got the mummy, and that's just shit. one costume because he got like. He oh, got he like, got more than one. He got like three different costumes. Oh, so maybe every personality do got. Yeah, because the one that's the investigator type, like that nigga, wear like a full white suit. And just have on a little white mask with a little moon. Right okay, there. that's what I saw. Then. Okay, so I was wondering because I saw on the comic, I saw I saw a comic of him like that. Yeah. Okay, yeah. that's dope. That's dope. Yeah, but outside of those two things, not getting enough Moon Knight and the little snap scenes that they kept, and in which the first couple times I I liked it. Yeah, I'd have been cool the first. They did a few a first couple times, then all of a sudden they showed them exactly, but. After a while, it's like, all right, man, how many times is y'all going to do it? Because now it just, oh, now okay. to me, it just seems like y'all trying to be cheap. It makes sense. On like, he, 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 John Paul Duchamp, is that, is that the, uh, the, it might, it might be. He might have a smooth like Clark Kent, not Clark Kent, uh, Bruce Wayne side too. Cause when the old girl was, everybody's like, how you get her? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. so he might, he, he, Damn, this nigga like split and uh the rock from the mummy. <laughs> yeah, Scorpion that is true. King. That's that crazy, is true. bro. It, it, that is true. And I was mad because I straight knew I'm like, this nigga's gonna wake up. It's gonna be three days later. And I'm like, damn, he straight fucked up his date with yeah. the baddest chick they didn't show on the show. Yeah, yeah. And that's fucked up. I wanted to see how that was gonna work. Yeah. But I wanna see how the nigga got her number. Yeah, I'm like who? I want to see the smooth side of him. Exactly. <laughs> Which personality got the number, and how did he do it? Like, did she just run up, happen to be there while he was while he was fighting some nigga, and he was like, "Oh, well, yeah," shit. because if he if his personality changed while he at work, people gotta notice that. Or do yeah. all his? Is it only one personality that work in the museum? I don't. That was also another thing. I that, think. I think this. What I drew. You remember? Well, you probably don't remember my art. When I had to draw that steer head, that's what it looked like. That that that. What kind it, you? It, it, yeah, that's what he looked like to me. Mm. He not a steer though. He a bird, I think. But that's really that's a real Egyptian guy. The design, yeah, it's a really Egyptian guy. Yeah, so, he always been ugly to me. <laughs> no offense. I mean, I don't know who I'm saying that to, but <laughs> yeah, it is like who would be offended by that, right? I'm sure it's probably some, cause it's, yeah. But I guess it, I'm assuming he really is like the god of, I guess like the moon or whatever the, or whatever. Yeah. But who would be offended by that? But I'm sure it's he a looked group. like a, it's an Egyptian god I used to read up called Thoth, who was supposed to be like the most knowledgeable god in Egypt. Mm. Actually, he's supposed to be the most knowledgeable god I think, mm. and he wrote the Thoth tablets that supposedly inspired the. Ten Commandments and shit like that, like God of Knowledge, something like that. I don't know if he was actually known as the God of Knowledge, but I know he was the most knowledgeable. That's an interesting topic we might have to tackle on the yeah on the Arch Villains. That's what I feel about. That's why I feel like Sid wanted to be here because of that. Yeah. I think he got like a lot of knowledge in that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Egyptian shit. But I thought Ethan Hawke did a good job in this episode. I liked him. Yeah, I like I ain't know who he was now, but I was confused at first because I thought he was the, he was the villain, but it seemed like Moon Knight really the villain. No, no, he the villain. Why you like, think? Why you think that? Why you, Why you think that Moon Knight the villain? 
just the way the way how the, just at the end the way it was he was so terrifying and then Wait, like when dude knocking niggas off when dude weighed that skill on him he told him like hey you better chill out but you got to notice the skill the the older woman at the beginning of the episode he killed her because the skill was telling him that she was gonna do bad in the future is exactly why I thought but you got, the scale didn't turn red for him. Like the scale, like the scale, it kept imbalancing. Like it didn't know what this nigga was on. Right. And which now that I'm more familiar, like knowing that he got all these personalities, they probably don't know what the fuck he gonna do. Yeah, that's yeah. true. That's true. So that, I, yeah, that's the chaos dude was talking about. Like you got all these niggas running around in you, and y'all right. ain't even y'all got some shit to work out. Mm-hmm. Something <laughs> in which. I did like um, the scene when he was before he started beating up the little. That's, it's like a wolf or some shit, or I think scene. it's called an anubis. I think that's the proper term for this type of creature looking because it looked just like an anubis, and it's like a dog wolf, like. But it's supposed to be more like a humanoid wolf yeah. than it is like a werewolf kind of. Yeah. But if we had a saw it a little bit more, maybe yeah, we, we could really, decipher that. We ain't really get a good look at it. Just like a dog, big ass dog chasing them. Because mm-hmm, now ass. all this shit bringing up shit that I was thinking about watching it. By the time we got to the point where the dog was chasing them around, the, uh, chasing them around the museum, they had did that little snap flash fight scene maybe like two, three times already. Yeah, I wonder why they didn't snap for him. The damn wolf. Well, because he was still, because he was still Steven yeah. at that point. But my thing was, it was like, all right, to me, y'all, y'all not really trying to show no CGI with the with the little demon dog. Oh, you, th- you think they ain't putting a lot of money in this? Yeah, <laughs> it got to be what it, that. That's what I was thinking watching the episode. You you don't want to show no fight scenes. You don't want to show no no CGI. Mm-hmm. It's like you just trying to be cheap and just using this little snap shit as a way to do it in which do you think it, you think that would have made anything better because to me it was it was it was well i think this episode would have been a little and like i said i i get it i get this episode in a a b plus yeah a minus right in that range if they had to show that that truck scene fully without what the truck scene? oh yeah without the snap without all yeah, the, the yeah, going yeah. back and forth it would have been a it would have been an a a plus episode to me. Yeah, they could have gave us that, bro. It, because how the fuck did he? How the fuck did he take the gun from a nigga in another car? You maybe 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 that maybe some of the shit that he can do in the comics, they feel like it'd be better just to show us like just to do that. Maybe they don't feel like they can execute it because. But I think they that. could. Come on, it's Disney, bro. Exactly, they can, they can if execute they, it. if they want to put the money behind it. Yeah, yeah, that's true. What would they be saving the money for? Doctor Strange? Bruh. This show ain't Morbius. I would, Morbius, ha- uh... I would hate to bring this up because <laughs> I fuck with Disney and Marvel. Mm. But they also didn't, they also looked over Black Panther and didn't put their best people on Black Panther, which oh, is yeah. why Black Panther CGI looked the way that it do at the end of the movie. Hold on, you talking about, oh, the first Black Panther movie? Yeah. That's oh what I'm yeah, yeah, about. yeah. Also, yeah, oh, you so. think it got something to do with like black people and Egyptians and shit? I'm like not that? gonna say that, <laughs> but I could see, I could see them being on this like, all right, we got an Egyptian superhero, we got a black superhero. How much is movie or this show really gonna make? How many people really gonna watch this TV show? I could see them being on that and being like. All right, we could put our secondary people on this, like you know what I'm saying, or not put as many resources behind it as they as they possibly could. Mm-hmm. In which they may have a lot of their people working on Doctor Strange right now, like with I know for Black Panther they had a lot of their people working on Infinity War and Endgame at the same time. Mm-hmm. So they did they they literally did put their secondary people on Black Panther. Yeah. So. Maybe that's what it is, but I just that was the only part of the episode that I did not like. But outside of that, I loved the whole mental aspect of him fighting with the with the other personalities in his mm-hmm. head, him not knowing what the hell going on. 
his whole system of the sand being around his bed and him chaining himself up. Yeah. Which I don't see how he didn't think that if he can get in the bed without making a mark, what make you think he can't get out the bed without making a mark? But. <laughs> you got a mark in the sand? Yeah, because that was the whole reason he put it down there to see if he got out the bed while he was asleep. But I'm like, nigga, you put the sand down there before you get in the bed. Oh, did he? What if he got in the bed first? Just just pulled it around there, then chained. Because they up. showed him. Well, they showed him pouring the sand down. Oh, one time. Okay. And it was well, it was before he got in the bed. And I'm like, nigga, if you can hop in the bed without so making he a didn't mark, know about the other person. He did know that some shit was happening. He just didn't know what was happening. He. It, it seems like he knows some shit going on, but he at don't first, know I what the somebody fuck else was chaining this nigga up that night. Because it, 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 it's just. This shit was crazy right here too. With yeah, the, yeah, the damn no, glass. Nigga walking on glass. That shit. I I thought that would come up another time in the episode. Like he liked pain or something or some shit like that. I thought he would bleed. Yeah, but that, I, it's that, not. That's another thing. <laughs> I was thinking when he was walking through See, town. I'm like, maybe he won't like niggas better find him in some trail of blood. Find him with a trail of blood mm-hmm. on some shit like this. She was bad. She was, and she looked kind of Egyptian. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think she is. I saw the um, director of this, Moon Knight. He was talking bad about the director of Black Adam because he was saying that they have the opportunity to use more people of color, more Egyptian it's, people. Also, it's a pe- person of color that's doing that's doing Moon Knight. Yeah, mm. Justin Benson. I don't know. If, mm. I don't like when people nah, say that, white. man. Like I what? I don't mind. Unless it. it's something like this, where you got Egyptian culture, or yeah, like Black the, Panther, you should use black people. But Black Adam does though. I mean, that's why he said that. Because oh, Black Adam pretty much take place in the same place that Moon Knight do in in the Egyptian. Oh, kinda, I didn't know that. I didn't know he was in, in Egypt, Egypt and not Egyptian yeah. lore. Yeah, I didn't know uh, that. shit. Black Adam city may be in Egypt. Oh yeah, well then yeah. yeah. But me, the rock, man, the rock don't look Egyptian. But I mean, he could probably pass for it. He probably could. If a nigga, if, like, if he learned how to talk like it, he could probably pass for it, probably. But they were just saying like it, because Hollywood is known for using white people to abstain. And I know a few Egyptian races. people. When I used to work at Target, a bunch of Egyptians worked there. They are like they like the same color as white people, but you could just tell they're not white. I mean, well, Gal, she Egyptian. Is she? Yeah, I believe so. I believe so. Yeah. Oh, well, shit, yeah. They be, they, they, they look black. They got black features, but they they, just, they just look, skin look like that. Yeah. And it's a little bit lighter, like, it's like olive, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to say something that probably shouldn't be on the podcast. (laughs) (laughs) But, well, on the movie review podcast, if it's Arch Villains, I would have said it, but. Oh, yeah. (laughs) But, yeah, but, so, First episode, you got any expectations, any predictions going forward? Mm, I'm just, I want them to put, I like the little, the little Egyptian education shit that he was giving everybody around the episode. Mm-hmm. So I hope they do that uh, throughout the whole episode because Egyptian yeah. lore, excuse me, Egyptian like lore is kind of like one of my favorites. You know what I'm saying? Along with like medieval shit, but. Mm-hmm. Egypt, I like to hear about the old school Egyptian, the ancient Egyptians and all that. So hopefully they give us a little bit more. Hopefully they give us something we don't know already. I don't know how much you know, but I know a lot because I study it. Well, yeah. I used to study up on Egyptians and shit like that. So but, you can uh, see yourself getting really into Moon Knight. Yeah, as long as they, yeah. If they keep along those lines. Yeah, I, but I see I like the obscure, I like the obscure characters. I like to see the new characters they give us. As long as they stay on this, you know what I'm saying, the way they going with it, then mm-hmm. I think I can like it. But yeah, yeah, because I think he gonna end up working mostly with like Blade. Oh yeah, maybe Daredevil. I, I I don't know how the Midnight Suns came up on my timeline, but oh, yeah. that shit look that Midnight Suns that group look dope. Yeah, that's they. I'm sure they gonna. I'm sure they gonna head in that direction. You think they gonna make a movie or a show? I mean, Oscar Isaac, I mean, he a movie actor, so, I mean, yeah. I could see him being in Blade. I could see him being in the Blade movie. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, we gonna see. 
Because he, well, I would. I, I'm looking forward. That's one thing I'm looking forward to, the progression of to see if the Midnight Sun is going to actually. I don't care which version. I like both versions that I read yeah. up on, like the new ones and the old ones. So I, I doubt it to be the one with Wolverine, but so it might. It might. Because the, the video game, is the video game went out? Is the video game out? Not yet, I don't think. I could see that that version coming out, and that version Maybe. got Wolverine, Ghost Matt, Ghost Rider. Uh, they might use it as a way to find. I mean, to bring in Wolverine. Yeah, but if they do Egyptians, they're gonna have to bring in Apocalypse. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah they have. To, and he supposed to be what the first mutant. So yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, it's yeah. Be, I, you know what? I could see. I could see a lot of. I could see. I could see it. See you thinking of all the stuff that I I never even thought about. Damn. This this first episode, like really, when it come to Easter eggs and predictions, all I thought about was that time that the nigga was fighting in and where he was where he saw the whole cult shit going on. Mm-hmm. I think that was Latveria. I think all this is Latveria. What's Latveria? Doctor Doom, uh, oh, the country that Doctor Doom yeah. uh, run. Hmm. Cause they never said where the nigga was at. They didn't. Yeah, because he just showed up there. Yeah, he just showed up yeah, there. So, yeah. All that they shit didn't, was they popping didn't off. Say, they didn't say that. This nigga love. Uh, who is that actor in the back, man? Whoever this is, he got. I'd like to set up, but he loved this one actor that I hate. Who? I think that who was. Love him? This nigga, he obviously loved him. He got the booze oh, propped up in the back. It? No, the nigga just doing a review. Oh. He got who in the back? Man, I don't. I, I, uh, that that nigga right there say, "Oh yeah, Ferris Bueller." Oh, this nigga, this nigga <laughs> talking about some complete. I'm thinking he talking about something with Moon Knight. The movie, them, them, they, the the shit. You don't like Ferris Bueller? It's not that I don't like him, but he. Oh, he's a whole actor. I don't really care. I don't. But anyway, yeah, I uh, I'm looking forward to more of it. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I don't. I wouldn't mind. I'm. I well, this this got me excited for the Midnight Suns if it's yeah. gonna happen. Yeah, you know. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna see how. That's crazy that they show a venom because they yeah. people must be yeah, burning them too. Yeah, we're gonna see, man. Because I really like this episode and I hope they keep it up. But I will throw this out there that ooh, excuse me, that wasn't what I was trying to throw out there. <laughs> but a lot of reviewers that have watched. For some reason, Disney sent out the first four episodes to reviewers. Oh, this? Yeah, Moon Knight. Damn. Yeah, and, uh, name up, so. I don't know if I want. I don't know if I want to say it. I ain't gonna say it. My my grade for this episode <laughs> is is a. I'm gonna give it an A minus. I'm a, no. I'm gonna give it a B plus. I'm gonna give it a B plus. Yeah, I'm in that same range. So yeah, A minus B plus. What man? I really well. We can say it off camera. You can tell me off camera because yeah, I really want to know what you was gonna say. Yeah, I tell you off camera. <laughs> I tell you off camera. So yeah, that's been our review of Moon Knight episode one. What we thought, what we think coming forward, and I hope, I hope that the absence of Marvel because I mean I wouldn't say Marvel was absent, but you know, like a month or two, we wasn't getting no Marvel shit for real. I hope that's not making me like this as much as I do. Oh damn! I guess this is the first Marvel shit yeah, we didn't we got really... since we didn't got since Spider Man. Yeah, yeah, damn! And it is March. Yeah, well, it's April now, but it came. It started March thirty first. Yeah. Damn! I didn't even think about that. Yeah, I didn't realize it. I mean, I realized it because I mean it's the first thing, but yeah. But now it's full steam ahead Mm -hmm. because I think Doctor Strange come out before this even over with, or we might have maybe like a week after then Doctor Strange come out. Hell no, I never tripped out that in Gods of Egypt. (laughs) But yeah, so I will. I am Defoe, aka Big Willie Style. Got Ron Jarobi, and you already know me. And man, thanks for watching Views of a Flick, our review on Moon Knight Episode 1. We will be back this week with Episode 2. Make sure you describe. I don't know why I said describe. (laughs) Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Mm -hmm. Leave a comment right under this video. Let us know what you thought of the episode. We're going to see y'all next time.